Hello everyone, in this video three solutions are presented to solve the problem when ANSYS ICM CFD doesn't work properly. You may have encountered this problem that your ANSYS ICM CFD doesn't work well or works slowly, especially in the blocking creation procedure and mesh generation. The first reason could be the graphics card driver of your system doesn't work well so you should update your graphics card driver and test performance of the ANSYS ICM CFD the second reason may originate from temporary files as a matter of fact, when the size of the temporary directory becomes so weak, ANSYS ICM CFD doesn't work properly. We can solve this problem just by deleting the content of this folder. It locates in this path. C users your PC name and app data. Uh, local folder and uh, temp I select all folders and delete uh, all contents you just delete the contents of this folder and be sure that all of your data and programs will be safe. Okay, and the third solution is running ANSYS ICM CFD using multiple processors. Some operations such as tetra meshing, hexa meshing, and smoothing can use multiple processors if they are available. Specifying multiple processors will enhance the performance of these operations. In the setting and general, specify the number of processors. You can specify a value from 0 to 256. The default is 1. I set 7 for the number of processors. If the number of processors is set to 0, the number of processors will be set automatically the maximum number of processors available. Now I hit the 0 button and uh, ANSYS ICM CFD set it to 8 processors. As a matter of fact, that's the maximum available processors. Okay, and apply and dismiss. So for concluding, three solutions are one, updating graphics card, two, deleting temporary faults, and three, using multiple processors. I hope this video will be useful.
Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notification bell and like this video.